Welcome to our MIDL paper presentation, Deep Reinforcing Learning for Organ Localization in CT. Organ localization is a constant preprocessing step in medical imaging. For instance, in radiation therapy, it is required to automatically detect organs at risk. Similarly, organ-to-organ -organ registration of pre- and post-operative images is less computationally expensive. Lastly, with organ localization, we can reduce the false positives in segmentation algorithms. Here we list the contribution of this paper. We show for the first time that deep reinforcement learning can be effective for the task of organ localization. The introduction of a new set of 11 actions, which are tailored for organ localization in RL, to account for the large variability of organ sizes and shapes. We show that for the task of organ localization, RL can learn under a limited data regimen compared to CNNs. In the proposed approach, an artificial agent is self-taught to learn from its own mistakes, asserts, and experiences by finding an optimal policy or behavior to localize the organ of interest using deep reinforcement learning. Starting from a random box in the 3D scan, the agent learns to deform the box by following a sequence of actions which brings the box to the target. In this paper, we proposed 11 actions which had been tailored for organ localization in 3D scans. This action set allows the artificial agent to reach every position and box configuration in the 3D space. Every action is multiplied by a transformation factor alpha between 0 and 1 denoting the amount of change of the box relative to the current size. The first six actions correspond to positive and negative translation in the x, y, and z directions. Translation actions do not change in neither the size nor the aspect ratio of the box. The scaling actions, zoom in and zoom out, can be seen as a global scaling of the box. These actions change the size of the box but preserve the aspect ratio. Finally, the actions thinner, flatter, and taller represent a deformation on one of the faces of the bonding box. These actions are responsible for changes in the aspect ratio of the box, allowing the agent to fit the organ of interest. The intersection of a union between the current box and the next possible box is the signal driving the agent. The reward is binarized using this formula. If the intersection of a union after taking certain action decreases, the agent receives a negative reward. If the intersection of a union increases, the agent receives a positive reward. Finding the optimal policy is performed with deep reinforcement learning. Here, a neural network learns a mapping from image space to the action space to enable the artificial agent to localize the organ of interest. The loss function to optimize is the discounted expected feature reward. To evaluate our approach, we use Visceral 3 dataset. We evaluate the proposed approach with seven different organs. We can see that the big organs result in better localization performance, for instance, lungs and liver, while small organs have inferior performance. This image shows some qualitative results. Dotted lines are the ground truth location. Solid lines are the predictions from the artificial agent. This table compares the state-of-the-art algorithms for organ localization to our proposed approach. Classical machine learning algorithms, CNNs, and RL. Note that the best performing method trains on around 2,000 annotated CTs compared to 17 in our approach. From our 10% data experiment, we can observe that even with only 7 annotated scans, our approach performed equal or better to classical machine learning approaches, which are trained on around 100 scans. Here a visualization on the training process. At the beginning of the training, after 10 epochs of training, and finally, at the end of the training, the artificial agent learns to localize, in this case, the liver. Thanks for your attention. Feel free to check our other MIDL papers as well as your search in our group.